All right, so we looked at finding average rate of change in the last video. And we said that the average rate of change was just the slope of some line that intersected our curve at the two points on our interval. Well, we can actually give a name to that kind of line. Uh, that kind of line is actually called a secant line. A secant line is a line that intersects a curve at two points, at exactly two points. So we want to be able to write the equation for a secant line uh, to a curve. And we actually don't even need to know what the line is. We just need to know the two points that it intersects our graph. Right? We just need to know what is this point and this point, and we can actually find the equation for our secant line. So let's try this example. So suppose we have the function g of x equals x squared minus 2, and we want to find an equation of the secant line that contains these points, negative 2, comma, our function evaluated at negative 2, and 1, comma, our function evaluated at 1. So we need to figure out what g of negative 2 is and what g of 1 is so that we can figure out the equation for this line. Because really it's just a, an equation of line to, through these two given points. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is find the slope and then actually figure out what these exact ordered pairs are so we can use one of them to write our equation. Um, so remember the slope is just the average rate of change over the interval from negative two to one. So let's find the average rate of change. So average rate of change here, average rate of change. And this is going to be on the interval from negative two to one. Okay. So we know that it's uh, g of 1 minus g of negative 2 all divided by 1 minus a negative 2. So we have to evaluate our function at 1 and then at negative 2. So we need to substitute in to the numerator or into this number here. So g of 1, so that's 1 squared minus 2 and then minus negative 2, so that's negative 2 squared minus 2. All of this is being divided by 1 plus 2, so 3. So simplify this. Uh, 1 squared is just 1. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. So we have this, 1 minus 2. That's negative 1. And then it's going to be minus 4 minus 2, that's a positive 2, all over 3. So negative 1 minus 2, that's negative 3, all over 3. Uh, so our average rate of change on this interval is negative 1. And this implies, right, this implies that the slope of our line, the slope of our secant line, is going to be negative 1. Because we said earlier that the average rate of change is just the slope of the line that intersects our point on that interval, which is our secant line. So we know the slope. Now we need to know what are one of these points so that we can substitute it in to our uh, slope intercept form. So I'm going to find the value of um, this point here. So to find the y value, we just take one and substitute it in. So g of one is equal to 1 squared minus 2, which is 1 minus 2 or negative 1. So this tells us that the point 1, negative 1 is going to be on our graph, and then we're going to have a slope of negative 1. So let's go ahead and write our equation. We're going to use slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. Now we don't know the value of b, but we do know the slope, right? We can take this and we can substitute it in for the slope. And we actually know the values of x and y from what we have in this point, so we can solve for b. So let's substitute in here. So we have negative one, negative one equals our slope, which is also negative one times x, 
which is positive 1 plus b. So negative 1 equals uh, negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1 plus b. So in this case, b is 0, right? If we add 1 to both sides, we get that b is 0. So the equation for our line is y equals negative 1 times x plus 0. And we can actually simplify this, and it turns out to be just y equals negative x. So this is the equation of the secant line that goes through this point.